National Football League. And we'll get to see the Eagles' creative quarterback. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Eagles and the Chiefs coming up next. As the sun starts to set, we're going to see how much light is left by the end of this early evening game here on the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. One final time this regular season. As always, joined by Brock Hewitt, I'm Kate Scott. As we get ready to put a bow on what has been an outstanding 18 weeks of football. And for 14 lucky teams across the NFL, Kate, this isn't the end for them. This is their last chance of a tune-up before they play on in the postseason chasing that Super Bowl ring. But for the other 18, this is it. Their final chapter. Their final chapter in a story to take the field until September rolls around again. For some, the final chapter of the season. For others, a final week before the playoffs. And we're off in week 18. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Well, here come the Chiefs, taking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, someone who Brock, I think, needs less introduction than anyone in the NFL today. It's Patrick Mahomes. Two numbers that a lot of people were focused on from his performance last week. That would be three and zero, as in touchdowns and interceptions. That's a quarterback who was efficient, aggressive in the right spots, but he took great care of the football. And of course, well, he cares less about those two numbers. He's more about the alphabet, like that letter W, picking it. It's intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked up by the Kobe Dean. And the Eagles take over on his fifth interception of the season. Oh, baby, this stadium was already loud to start this game, Brock, but that play, it's in an absolute uproar now. <laughs> and the one thing you want to do as an opposing team is quiet the crowd, especially as a quarterback. It's your job to quiet that home crowd, but an interception, well, it does nothing but add fuel to the fire. A fever pitch now as the offense takes the field, looking for an early lead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Hits his man on the out route. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. Now how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop them on third and goal. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is set away. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Timeout called on the field. So we've got a player shaken up and at the worst time, too. They just wanted to keep everyone healthy entering the playoffs next week. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. A dangerous throw, and he almost got burned by it. The interception dropped and incomplete on first down. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's Mahomes now. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get 
get taken down after advancing this to the 37. It's a pickup of 11. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On first down, they'll run. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Teammates notice when they got a guy willing to take it on the chin to get rid of the pass. That's a pass that's going to earn a lot of points with the other 10 players, not just today, but when they go back and watch that play on tape. Duke the defender. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back now. Pressure on its way. On target to Worthy. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's got a nice run. That reaches the 26. Ball at nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. To the air, Mahomes finds his man, Rice. And he gets this forward to the 19. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw cake that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Again, the throw now on second and ten. He's got it. It's on the turf. The ball's out. He lost it. And this goes out of bounds. The fumble not ideal, but hey, did end up being a small gain on the play. So near disaster a moment ago, but the drive's still in trouble if they can't convert on third. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Some guys, you just have to account for them, especially middle linebackers. I remember Ray Lewis, Brian Urlacher, it just felt like their presence took up the entire field. And this linebacker today, we had the interception earlier, a sack right now. You've got to start figuring out a plan for him or he will take over this game. one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. We have a timeout now for somebody shaken up on the previous play, and as they work on him, his teammates hoping this doesn't keep him out of the postseason. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Lone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Second down now, seven to go. Brings up second and seven. At the 31 yard line. From the 31. Tight end making a the play there on the corner route. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man to man coverage. The best of them? Give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, 
He's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. They'll run here on first down. Along this sideline inside the 25. They made it to 22 on the rip and a first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on the broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. They just get the playoff. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he winds up out of bounds, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So before they can set up for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to the link right after this. We're back and excited to start the second. Eagles in a nice spot to put up points. Handoff on second and short. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Now you'd sure love to see a little more yardage when you get into the open field, but this offense, it will take a new set of downs with that toss run. Goal to go, they're passing. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles parlay the interception into points. Wow, partner, what a special season it has been, and now a crowning individual achievement for him. Most passing touchdowns in one campaign. And even with every offense heavily built today on being a pass first, this is a record we don't see challenged very often. Just shows how impressive and cerebral he's been all season to even be within range of setting a new benchmark. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. And he's kept up the pace all season long. To the point, look, he's in the top five across the NFL in passing. Now it's Mahomes. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. From the 33 on second down, Kelsey makes the catch. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route, too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And with a nice skein, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. From the 34. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. Running out of the gun with Pacheco. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Even four of that time, so six to go on second down. It's Pacheco again. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. First down from the red zone. 
Called in by Worthy. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. Second and three now. Throwing from the gun here. He's got it. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Back to throw Mahomes. This one's caught. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. It's the two-minute warning now from the link. And it's the Chiefs who have second and four. Throwing his Mahomes. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. Time now taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. ready for the field goal try. It's a 34-yarder from that right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that brings the deficit back within a score. Eight points. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. This return starts at the five. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. They'll come out throwing. Sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is set away. Return coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. So now a timeout for a player who's shaken up on that previous snap, and I think we can all agree not what any of us were hoping to see as we close out this regular season. They're out and set, first and ten. Here's Mahomes. Down the middle, complete. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. Prior to first down, they decide to call a timeout. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Looking to throw Mahomes. Pass complete to Wiley. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Chiefs in the hurry up, trying to get everyone in the line. Putting the tight end in motion. From the 42. Completes this one to Rice. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to 
Jarrett leaves incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They'll throw it again. Brought in close to the eight. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Touchdown. The Chiefs could make it a one-score game as they cut it to nine before half. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Chiefs 13. Here's a return from the seven. Find some space, he's past the 30. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The Eagles are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he's one final strong week away from finishing as the NFL's leader in passing yards for this season. To throw it on first down. Quick hitter complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second and three now. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Hits his man on the out route. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Set of downs for him from the 46. The Eagles decide to spend their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. New set of downs for him from the 46. Now they'll throw out of the gun. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. He'll throw it yet again. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And then brings up third down. Looking for a throw here. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game already out of hand, coaches know you've got to execute and convert on these third downs. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that, and they'll take over at the 16-yard line. And they'll kneel this one down. So we're halfway through this final week of the regular season. Now down the coast we go to Orlando, Florida in our studio there. Jonathan Coachman waiting by with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll begin our trip around the NFL with an interesting one right off the bat. And it's the home side who have the lead as they play the second quarter. It's Jaden Daniels with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Tyler Boyd, a touchdown reception. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last. We head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. And they were losers in their ball game as the visiting Buffalo Bills come in and took it to them. Josh Allen, excellent in the W as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. These two teams heading out of the tunnel. We're ready to get back to it. 
for the call of the second half. Here is the All great right, Kate that lead down Scott. To eight after Kate? that score, and the kick is away. His return stuck to the five. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Eagles headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he's in position to lead the NFL in passing touchdowns this season. They've got first down from the 31. Blown back gets the handoff. And he's going to get up to about the 33, but no more. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. He's dropping back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. We have a timeout now. Medical staff out to check on an injured man. And you hate to see this in the final week of the regular season. Third and just two to go. Pass play coming here. Finds his man over the middle. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's good for an Eagles first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They put a receiver in motion right. Here's the one back on the handoff. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Even five on that carry, bringing up second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the 48. Here's a throw on the out now. Complete. And he goes down a little short of the 40. First and 10 from the 41. Hand off now out of the gun. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Even 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Now looking to throw. He's got it near the eight. And he drives this forward to the six. Great work by the Michigan State rookie to find the right throw and get them the first. That is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Working inside the red zone. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. Back now, pressure on its way. Oh, they got it. Intercepted along the goal line. And the Chiefs are going to have it. And he's going to hang on to that football. That's his first career interception. Mm -mm -mm. There are costly interceptions, Brock. And then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. And if there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. Yeah. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. Mm -hmm. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown. It's check down. It's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. They'll give this up the middle to Pacheco. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Takes the handoff. Now to throw. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. And 
and the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay of game. Delay of game. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Still first down. They'll have to come up with five extra yards now after that first down flat. Running it after the penalty. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. They don't get anything on first, and now they face second and 15. To the air, Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Mahomes now. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So they'll let the play stand, decline the penalty, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Officially a 55-yard launch. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and 10. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I love throwing my first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of the matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. New set of downs for him from the 46. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Open receiver, caught. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Here's a throw. That one's complete right side. And he gets this down at the 13-yard line. Set for a first and ten. From the red zone now. He brings it in. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five yard line. Timeout called on the field. So we've got a player shaken up and at the worst time, too. They just wanted to keep everyone healthy entering the playoffs next week. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Still sticking with the passing game. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing from the gun here. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles lengthen the lead at the end of the third. They're on a close game. They needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. 
The Chiefs are headed out, and we'll see Isaiah Pacheco. They'll get this drive started, first and ten. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner, so hopefully this one has some better legs to it. Looking to throw Mahomes. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Only one quarter remaining now in these teams' regular season. It's the Chiefs in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 37. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. They get 22 on that one. And the Chiefs are gonna have a first down. Move the chains! Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. First and 10 from the 41. Throwing is Mahomes. Finds his man. It's worthy. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Second and six coming up here. Drives this forward to the six. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he won't challenge for the goal line. The stop made at the four. It's two yards on the gain, and now it'll be second and goal. Back to throw Mahomes. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. It's an Isaiah Pacheco touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Now a point after to bring it back within one score. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. Kickoff taken at the three. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense would probably rather forget. Throwing from the gun. Quick hitter complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Second and three now. Throwing now from the gun. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. We set it down, score him at the 38. Now they'll throw out of the gun. 
That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. So it'll be second down. Option design here. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. He'll throw it. That's caught for the first. It goes as a game of 19 yards. And that's a Philadelphia first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Dropping back to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. A give now from the gun. He still has room inside the 30. And finally, he's down at the five-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. First down from the red zone. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles lead by 14. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate, from John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey. The position could be such a mismatch when you're going for the end zone. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. Return coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. They motion the tight end over. Here's Mahomes. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now it's Mahomes. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Defender smart there to get a hand on that one. So now it's going to be third and long. We'll look to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. Hits the 20. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Working inside the red zone. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. So now a timeout for a player who's shaken up on that previous snap. And I think we can all agree not what any of us were hoping to see as we close out this regular season. Here's Mark. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Chiefs make it a nine-point game. Well, Brock, we don't see this often, but love it whenever nope. we do. The fullback, the target on that one, and he ends up with six. You're absolutely right, Kate. You don't see fullbacks utilized that much, but man, when you do have a weapon like that, it stretches a defense so thin. Big time touchdown. Yes, by a fullback. <laughs> that one right down the middle. 
And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And last drive, he reached one of those numbers that everyone looks at as a benchmark after the season ends, Brock. Quite the year that he's put together finding the end zone. All right, one more snap before the two-minute warning. A lot of speed on it, too tough to handle, incomplete. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Give now to the running back. And it's a nice gain on the run, aided by that broken tackle. The Chiefs signal for a timeout, that's going to be their first. Short yardage situation here, it's third and two. Back to throw. He's got time here. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted, it's going to be fourth down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. That one hits at the six, but can't check up. It gets into the end zone for a touchback. And he's been reading the coverage, dare I say, Brock, even better than his quarterback has all game. I mean, he just continues to find openings and make plays in this second half. Now to throw. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll get it up to the 27. Chiefs in the hurry up, trying to get everyone in line. Here he is to throw. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's brought down after a short game. Throwing now. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Quick throw finds him out right. Up the sideline to the 45. We have a timeout now for somebody shaken up on the previous play, and as they work on him, his teammates hoping this doesn't keep him out of the postseason. Two timeouts remaining and some time left to use them. It's first and ten. Looking to throw it. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he reaches midfield and starts driving into Eagles territory. We have a timeout now. Medical staff out to check on an injured man. And you hate to see this in the final week of the regular season. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. To throw. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Short of the 30. They gain 14 on the play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. That one's complete over the middle. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. Signals, and looks like we've got a timeout before that first down play. Here he is to throw. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw and force something. It brings up second down.
He'll look to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. Still time for a couple of plays, though. 15 seconds left. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down.